This is a short demonstration of some of the ways computer visualization can be used to promote more sustainable land and surface water management. It highlights the benefits of managing a river's entire catchment from top to bottom. Floods are an increasingly familiar sight, particularly in riverside communities. To help reduce the flood risk, there's a need to manage the whole of a river's catchment in ways which make the land more absorbent, which hold the rainwater upstream in the countryside for longer, and which moderate the rate of the river's flow. European legislation calls for a more holistic approach to river catchment management, with land being used in ways which help to slow down the rate of rainwater runoff, particularly after storms. The Pitt report into the catastrophic floods of 2007 called in particular for much better communication, and it highlighted the potential value of computer animation for getting messages across. Flood risk in towns is linked directly to the nature of the upstream countryside. A more absorbent countryside holds back the rainwater and in the process it can also improve nature conservation. The city of Bath in northeast Somerset is a particularly good place to demonstrate the benefits of managing land and water in a more joined up, sustainable way. Bath is an ancient riverside town with world heritage status and the River Avon has a history of flooding. When considering the flood risk in towns, there's a need to think about the effect of rainfall way upstream. Google Earth and similar satellite imagery makes it possible to fly the whole length of the river in seconds, so the computer can be used to improve understanding of a whole river catchment from rural source to urban bottleneck. Much of the water that flows through Bath will have fallen as rain in the Cotswolds or the Mendip Hills as much as 50 kilometres away. Bath is a world heritage city that has been celebrating its link with water for thousands of years. The Roman baths are world famous and Pulteney Weir is a glorious example of river engineering. By contrast, much of the River Avon in Bath is ugly, inaccessible and lifeless, undoubtedly a wasted asset. Flood defences built from concrete and steel mean that the city has turned its back on the river. Now there are exciting plans to regenerate Bath's urban riverside, with new developments on some of the city's wasted land. Flood risk presents a serious obstacle to these plans, and there is a need for a fresh approach to flood defence. With less ugly and aggressive flood defences, it would be possible to make much more of the river's potential as a place to live, work and play. The immediate challenge is to help many more people to appreciate the practical links between the city and its upstream countryside. The rain runs off the land at different rates depending on the nature of the surface and the way the land is managed. Computer graphics can help to illustrate this. The more that the land surface is sealed, the faster the surface water will run away. Here, as the area becomes more paved and built over, less of the rainwater is absorbed and the flood risk increases. The way the countryside is farmed can also make a significant difference. The trampling feet of intensive livestock grazing can compact the soil, adding to the rate of rainwater runoff and the risk of flooding. On the other hand, deciduous trees and woodlands improve soil drainage and help to make the land much more absorbent. Even young saplings can dramatically improve soil structure and natural water absorbency. In some catchments, a switch from intensive sheep grazing to broadleaf trees has increased rainwater penetration 60-fold. The techniques for increasing natural water storage in the landscape are well known. Woodland, wet pasture, lakes and reed beds all help to make the countryside much more water retentive and they can provide important habitat for wildlife at the same time. As any single part of the river's catchment is made more water retentive, it will help to moderate the flow downstream, and this reduces the risk of flooding just a little bit more. So sustainable water management can be achieved gradually, bit by bit. Satellite images can help to locate specific areas of a river's valley and identify the places where a landscape change will have the greatest impact. This is Semington, 
about 30 kilometers upstream of the city of Bath. Semington Brook is a useful part of the River Avon's catchment for illustrating the various options for habitat creation and sustainable surface water management. For instance, here we have a broad, flat floodplain of open fields, and some of them already flood after heavy rain. Minor earth modelling would allow much more rainwater to be temporarily stored and then slowly released over several days. Wet pasture can still be farmed most of the time, and it's also extremely valuable for ground nesting birds and wetland wildflowers. There is also scope for creating permanent wetlands, open pools and reed beds to help store rainwater. And wetlands can also help to purify the water and provide habitat for some of the rarest and most beautiful wildlife. Computer animation can provide a glimpse of future landscape change and help landowners and managers to make detailed decisions about particular parts of a river's catchment. In this part of the catchment, the farmer is keen to plant more woodland. Wet woodlands in the floodplain can slow down the rate of runoff, they can help the land to absorb more rainwater and provide good habitat for migratory birds and specialist wildflowers. These water holding habitats also increase the dependability of drinking water supply by topping up the underground aquifers and the boreholes and by keeping the streams flowing in dry weather. So landscape changes in a river catchment can deliver multiple benefits by enhancing biodiversity and supporting more wildlife, by improving the reliability of drinking water and by reducing the risk of flooding. All good arguments for strengthening the links between our towns and cities and the rural countryside. Computer graphics can illustrate the way a landscape can be changed over time. They can provide a vision of a more sustainable living landscape and they can also help the many different interested parties to work in partnership by playing to their own particular strengths. As each new change is implemented, it helps to weave the landscape back together. As the rise and fall of the river becomes less threatening, this creates opportunities to make much better use of the urban riverside, and computer graphics can demonstrate the potential. In the case of the city of Bath, reducing the risk of flooding will mean that the proposed new built developments really will be able to make much more use of their riverside location. Whole river catchment management can make a range of positive contributions to the countryside and at the same time it can improve quality of life for those who live and work in urban areas downstream.